हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नोटो कॉर्ड फॉर्मेशन दिस इज अगेन ए वेरी स्मॉल शॉर्ट नोट फॉर योर एग्जाम सो लेट्स डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट दिस इन द एग्जाम नो वेन एवर यू आर हैविंग द शॉर्ट नोट ऑलवेज यू शुड फर्स्ट राइट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नोटो कॉर्ड नो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नोटो कॉर्ड इज ए मिड लाइन एम्ब्रियोनिक स्ट्रक्चर सो वेयर यू विल फाइंड द नोटो कॉर्ड you will find the notochord into the midline in embryonic life and it develops during the third week of development so this is again the second question that in which week the notochord appears in third week now the notochord develops from the primitive node so this is the another question that what is the precursor of your notochord answer is primitive node so my dear students when you are reading the gastrulation you have the idea about the primitive streak and primitive node and we know that primitive streak and primitive node develops from the epiblast cell layer so the primitive node which is a mass of epiblast cell is going to form the notochord that means the cells of notochord also comes from epiblast cell layer now what is the extension of notochord in midline where you will find the notochord now when you will see the embryonic disc now this is your disc in the disc what you are able to see that when you will remove the amniotic cavity and when you will see the disc from the superior aspect you know that there is a formation of this primitive streak and this is the area of precordial plate where you don't have intermediate mesoderm now what will happen between these two below the epiblast you are having a thick cord like structure so here i have mentioned i have showing the notochord with the dotted line why because you know that this is your embryonic disc on the upper part you will have the amniotic cavity in the lower part you will have yolk sac so we have removed this upper cavity that is your amniotic cavity and you are seeing the superior view of the disc from the dorsal side now when you are seeing the disc from the superiorly from the dorsal aspect you can see the primitive node with the streak and pre and precordial plate but below the epiblast in the middle layer you will find a midline thickening which is known as notochordal process so notochordal process lies between the node and precordial plate below the epiblast cell layer so it lies between the cranial end of the primitive streak which is known as node and precordial plate now how this notochordal process form so what are the steps so let's discuss the step one by one so the first thing is that once there is a formation of primitive node in the node there is a depression appears now this depression is known as primitive pit or blastopore so what is happening here that this is your primitive streak now you know that primitive streak lies in the epiblast cell layer so these are your long columnar epiblast cell layer and in the head you will have a large number of epiblast cells now in this head or primitive node there is a appearance of a small depression and this depression is known as primitive pit so this is the formation of primitive pit now what will happen the proliferated cells form from the node invaginated between the ectoderm and endoderm up to the precordial plate so what will happen that these cells which are arising from the node will migrate and go downward anteriorly towards the procordial or precordial plate so once this will happen there is a formation of a thick cellular linear cord and this cord is known as notochordal process it is initially known as notochordal process so what is happening first the cells of the primitive node start proliferation and they will migrate anteriorly below the epiblast towards the precordial plate now in the next step what will happen that this cavity or the depression which appears into the primitive node which is known as pit the pit will also deepens and this deepening of the pit will form a canal inside this notochordal process which is known as notochordal canal 
So, now what will happen that this will go deep into the notochordal process like this. Clear? So, here you have to understand that the notochordal process now canalized by this pit and this new canal which is formed inside the notochordal process is known as notochordal canal. Now, in the next step what will happen? The floor of the notochordal canal fused with the underlying endoderm and later on both of these layer will disappear. So, what is the meaning of this line? Now, you have seen that this is your epiblast. Now, from the epiblast you have seen that this is your formation of canal. There is a formation of the canal and we have seen that this canal is surrounded by the cellular mass of your notochordal process. Clear? So, these are the cells of notochordal process and in the center you will have this canal. Now, below this epiblast, which layer you will have? You have endoderm or the hypoblast. So, here what will happen that this is your lower cell layer. Now, what will happen that these two layers will merge with each other. What these two layer? Floor of the canal and this endoderm cell layer. So, now these all contents will disappear. So, once you will make them disappear, what will be the picture that if you will disappear all of them, then what will happen that this roof of the canal will persist. This is the roof of canal, which canal? Notochordal canal. So, this roof of the canal will persist, here you will have the endodermal cell linings and this is your ectoderm and this is your ectoderm. This is your primitive pit opening, so here will be your primitive streak and this streak is having the pit, clear? So, what is happening now? The floor has been disappeared. So, this yolk sac is making a communication with this amniotic cavity in the upper part. So, in the next what is happening? Now, the secondary yolk sac communicate with the amniotic cavity by a newly formed canal through the pit and this canal is known as neuentric canal. Now, this neuentric canal is formed for the nutrition purpose. Now, in the next step what will happen? This canal again will closed. So, we have to close the canal and how the canal will form? That the roof of the uh, notochordal canal persists, the floor is disappear, the floor disappearance is going to form neuentric canal. Now, the persisting roof will become flat. What will happen? That this roof part which has been persist here become flat. Now, once it will become flat, what will happen? This communication will no more persist, clear? So, here what will happen that if you will see the cross section, you will realize that this is the roof which persists, this is the floor which has been disappear. So, once the floor will disappear, you will have the formation of neuroentric canal. Now, this floor this roof again become flat and flat portion of this canal is known as notochordal plate. So, how the notochordal plate? The wall of the canal or that is known as roof become flattened and form a plate is known as notochordal plate. Now, in the next part what will happen? This plate will again show the curvature or it will show the fold. Clear? And now, these two ends of this curve will join to each other and they will become separate from underlying endoderm. So, what is happening in the next step? The plate get curved or the fold and it is going to form a tube and this tube will get detached from the underlying endoderm. So, here you can see that this tube is going to form by the meeting of these two ends of the fold and then they will detach from this endoderm and you are having a formation of notochordal tube. Now, the cells which are present inside the tube will proliferate and a thick definitive notochord will form. So, the cells in the tube will proliferate and it convert this tube into a solid cellular cord which is known as definitive notochord. So, now the notochord lies in a midline between the 
uh, ectoderm and endoderm which extends from the primitive node till the precordal plate. Clear? So, my dear students, now you have to write down significance of the noto notochord. Why, what is the importance of notochord? So, but your notochord is a important factors in the phylum chordate. The word chordate comes from the appearance of notochord. Notochord is a basis of the formation of vertebral bodies. That means it decides that the vertebral bodies are going to form in the midline in dorsal surface, but they are not going to form vertebral bodies except a few part of intervertebral disc. The notochord act as an inducer of the neural tube. Now, this is very important thing that neural tube is going to form your central nervous system and stimulation of the formation of central nervous system from neural tube depends upon the notochord. So, notochord if will not form, your neural tube will not form. Then the next step is the importance is that it decides the central axis of the embryo. Now, there are two things which you always keep in mind that when we are talking about the future of notochord in the human beings, it disappears in the human being. So, in the human beings, the notochord completely disappear except its two remnants which are very important MCQ. What are the remnants of notochord in adult? One is known as nucleus pulposus of intervertebral disc and second is apical ligament of dance which is attached on the dance of your second cervical vertebrae. So, my dear students, these are the two questions for your exam that what are the two adult derivatives of remnants of notochord. Now, there is a one applied, if the remnants of notochord persist, they will give rise to a tumor which is known as chordomas. So, sometimes you will have the question chordomas arises from, answer is notochordal remnants, clear? Now, here you will have a diagram which you have to draw in exam. How to draw this is here you can see that this is first the formation of notochordal process between the ectoderm and endoderm. Then in the process there is a formation of a canal which is extension of the pit. Then the floor of the canal and the endoderm these two layer will dis disappear and here you can see that this is a broken formation of the floor which is going to form your neuroentric canal. Then what will happen? this roof will go downward and there is a formation of the notochordal plate. Then this plate will show the recurving and then the ends of the this plate will join each other and there is a formation of a notochordal canal and inside this notochordal tube there is a proliferation of the things occur and it is going to form definitive notochord. Clear? Now, in this image you can see that this is the area of precordal plate and this is the pit and from here you can see the cells are migrating anteriorly towards the precordal plate that is your notochordal process and and simultaneously the pit is also entering inside the center portion of the process and ultimately there is a formation of the canal and in the next step what is happening that this floor of the canal and endodermal cells will disappear and there is a formation of a communication which is known as neuroentric canal and later on the roof of the neuroentric canal become flat to form the plate and there is a recurving in the plate to form the notochordal tube and from the tube there is a proliferation of the cells to form your definitive notochord. Clear? So, my dear students, at the end of this session, now you should have the idea that how to write the notochord in your exam, what is the importance of the notochord and there are two very important adult derivatives in the notochord. So, this is all for the session. Thank you.